Hey guys, if you this original movie gal, and if you want this look, uh, for this look, you're gonna need just a few things. Now, you, you, I am using my Deluxe Artist Palette. This is by 1675 Cosmetics. You probably, if you've been following me for a while, you know that um, I love 1675. Um, it's giving me this glow right here. And it's one of the staples in my makeup collection, and it's very inexpensive, handmade, cruelty free, very colorful shimmer and foil eyeshadow. So, for this look, you'll need a shimmer or foil eyeshadow. Right now, I'm using all my coppers, my bronzes, a little more color in the middle. Any shimmer shadow that you would like to use, like I said, I'm using one six seven five cosmetic deluxe artist palette. If you want this look, just stay tuned. For your transition color, please pick a transition color closest to the shade of your natural eyelid. Um, for mine, I use my MAC. This is, I swear this is like rice paper. Hold on. Let me pull it out. For MAC, I am using bamboo. And then I also use, this is Luxie actually. It's not MAC, but... Um, this is number 105, but also what's comparable is um, Max Brown Script. Now for the colorful eyeshadows, any vibrant colorful eyeshadow, you can get a NYX palette. They do have some colorful eyeshadows. Right now I'm using the VZ Art Editorial Edition eyeshadow. Um, you want a vibrant red, so I'll be using the red here. Now I'm using the red and the purple. And this Vizzy Art Editorial Palette. Um, if you have a Morphe, use a Morphe. Like I said, any vibrant, pigmented red and purple. All about my stacks. I'm not trying to have beef with nobody. I did my own lean. I don't send anybody, I man. See, make you watch how I rise. Oh, yeah. To the top, I rise. To cut out my crease, I am using the Tarte Shape Tape. And actually, let me get that for you. I'm using the sharp, sharp, tart shape tape in medium. That's what I use to cut out my crease. What up? But man, I see you. And then, like I said, in my Orders Couture, I am using, for my outer, I'll be using this. This comes up, if I swatch it, like a vibrant brown, reddish um, brown. Then my next transition color, going in, and you'll follow. Oh, is that red? You see how it goes red? That reddish orange? Actually, here, I'll do it better. So we have brown, then I have reddish orange, and I go in with this. This is a dual chrome. It turns off, it looks red or orange like this. It's like in between that, but then it gives off a gold watch. You see, and then it trails in gold. And then in the center, I'm using this foil rose gold, and we're just gonna tap it. Um, this foiled rose gold actually because it is a foil it works better with water or a wet eyelid and then We're gonna go for the inside with the gold Any orange gold will work Again, this is 
the original Rude Gal making new videos for this 365 challenge every single day. Now my glow up again is 1675. I want to say this one is doll face. I love it. I also got Rosita, but the lashes are not necessary, but I love it with this look. And the foundation I am wearing is my Josie Marin Vibrance Foundation Fluid. Um, I like that because of arrogant oil and especially with the cold weather, my skin tends to be dry, so I use that along with my, um, sorry, Hourglass. This is my Hourglass, uh, I want to say the Mineral Veil, no, the Stick Concealer in Amber to highlight. Baby, it's cold outside. I need to go home. Baby, it's cold outside. 